Hey everybody, just looking at another cool use of the modulator MIDI effects. We're looking at the fat effects unit here, and this has this really cool modulation matrix at the top here. So over on the X and Y axes, you can actually assign parameters from any of the different knobs along this whole unit. We should do a video just on this unit because it's really awesome. But in this case, what I want to do is just take a preset and I'm going to assign the modulators to move this little matrix here. So what we have are two of them loaded up already. We have this one here and this one is doing the vertical axis and this one is doing the horizontal. So it was actually a little tricky to get this to work right the first time. And that's because when you go down into your modulator and you're choosing the destination here and you say learn plugin parameter and then you click on this, it only ever gives you the X axis. So you have to actually go under the hood just slightly. So over here under our view option, we can go to controls and this brings up a list of all the controls in the data format. And down here, I can then come into my other axis, choose Learn Plugin Parameter, and then we can just click on this, and then it will assign it to that. We can come back out to our editor. And now, the other settings I have here, they're almost, well, they are essentially identical. With one of them going to the X, I have it set to the Sample and Hold, or Random, right here, set to eighth note rate, and then I turned up the smoothing, so it moves between all the different data points smoothly, and I did the same thing for the Y up here, except this one is set to 16th notes right now. But um, other than that, they're identical. What we have then, let's turn them on, is it's gonna move around continuously and randomly throughout that whole data set. So you get really cool sounds. You can make it more distinct if you want to take off the smoothing. And you can actually do more with this in terms of setting some of these parameters to be directly correlating to parts of the sound. Right now, essentially what this is doing is moving around, but it's not changing some of the bass sound that the preset of Dirt Chop is already providing. It's just kind of turning it on and off in a different pattern. So it's adding an additional layer of rhythm, but not changing the, the bass rhythm. Just a simple look at another use for these, this time in conjunction with Fat Effects. If you made this far in the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Also check out our Patreon program. We have a new instrument coming out on Friday this week, so definitely check that out. Hope you're having a great week, and I will talk to you next time.